With only 10 days left before the NHL trade deadline, the Vancouver Canucks have some big decisions to make. They have already made four trades since the start of training camp, but the question on everyone's mind is, what are they going to do now? Are you a Canucks fan? Show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel for more content like this. GM Patrick Alvin has already pulled off a deal for Luke Shen, but what else does he have in store for the team? In this video, we'll be discussing three situations to monitor between now and March 3rd, and what they could mean for the Canucks' future. The first situation to monitor is whether the Canucks will trade a roster player beyond Shen. There have been rumors circulating about goaltender Thatcher Demko and forward JT Miller being checked on by other teams. Winger Brock Boser has also been seeking a trade for months, and Connor Garland has been the subject of buyout rumors. And then there's Tyler Myers, who is owed a huge bonus this summer before entering the final year of his contract. Moving players at this point in the season is difficult, but the deadline often brings surprises. It's worth keeping an eye on these names and seeing if any unexpected trades come to fruition. Which Canucks player do you think should be traded? The second situation to monitor is trade brokerage. The Canucks have put Tanner Pearson on LTIR and are carrying $7.6 million in cap space into the deadline. This means they could potentially act as a third party to retain salary for contenders who need to make expensive players fit salary cap-wise. We saw this happen in the recent Ryan O'Reilly trade, where the Minnesota Wild picked up a fourth-round pick from the Toronto Maple Leafs for retaining $1.875 million on O'Reilly. If the Canucks are willing to spend money for draft picks, they could use their cap space to their advantage and acquire some valuable assets. The third and final situation to monitor is lateral prospect or change of scenery trades. The Canucks have a thin prospect pipeline, and it's been a while since they've made any significant changes in this area. Nils Hoglander has been passed over for a call-up and is approaching the game's played threshold for requiring waivers, which means he'll need to make it stick next time he gets an NHL opportunity. There's also Jack Rathbone, who has been called up three times without sticking and was passed over for Christian Wallinen when the Canucks needed a defenseman. Are Hoglander and Rathbone in need of a change of scenery? Could the Canucks be eyeing second-chance players in other organizations? And are there any trade fits among them? Are you a Canucks fan? Show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest Canucks news and rumors. Also check out this suggested video.